Well, my highest hope was for people who are not, who take reality as it's given to them, mm -hmm. as it's curated for them, and for them to be jarred out of it at least a little bit, mm -hmm. for at least some seeds to be planted and that can germinate into more inquiry, mm -hmm. into you know the images of the film and the film itself. I was hoping would recontextualize some of the relationships that we take for granted between uh, institutions and ourselves, mm -hmm. and the greater social framework. So my hope was mostly for the people who may be quite caught up within their uh, habitual patterns to be really like jarred out of that with a strong punch to the solar plexus. Yeah, well, the artists work, the true artists work. And, and you know, that's, that's my aim and my good days um, is to, to calibrate to a higher order, to have inner integrity. And so the artist has to be able to go into the transcendent realms mm -hmm. in various ways. Mm -hmm. And through the interaction with these realms, through emptying oneself of the cultural baggage, mm -hmm. being able to take that boon, mm -hmm. like grasp it with gentleness, I think, and sometimes with gentle force, mm -hmm. and be able to then make sense of it, mm -hmm. So it's almost like the mystical experience, the insight of, of the experience has to be felt, then understood, then put into some sort of human manifestation so that it can be translated to others, and then put into, put into craft that can then be, that stream can be felt by human beings who are functioning within these closed circuits. That's just what we, we tend to do. So the artist, it's, it's a lot to ask because true art has to be done by, by the initiates of, of the true work, of the real work. Mm. And that work is not easy and it's not promoted anywhere and it's not, um, it's, it's not part of our culture mm. to do that, that work. Mm. So we need, we need more artists to be doing really hard work, working on their craft and translating the transcendent mm. and introducing a higher order of reality so that the rest of us can can glean it consider mm. it and possibly even you know take it on and embody it it's not about full tradition it's not about full dismantling of things mm. it's 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 a mix of the two you got to be rebellious while knowing what you're stepping onto and you're stepping onto the efforts of mm. so many men and women mm. that have brought us here you know the fabrics that we wear the mm. the walls that like these things we we live on the you know the shoulders of giants and i think there should be a lot of gratitude for that while also innovating constantly mm. so we have to be at the razor edge of reality right here right now aware of it all while also aware of our own sense Yeah, it's funny that the Asian saying of uh, the nail that sticks out gets hammered down. Mm. Like it's, it's just so true in, in all spheres of, of society. Mm. The high intellectual realms and the so-called sophisticated realms, you know. Mm. One has to maintain a tailored um, image of oneself. And I know that there are functions for that. You know, I have to do it in certain instances and I'm trying not to do it as much. But um, that keeps us, that, that coolness, you know, that, that just keeps us limited to to uh, again, like I keep saying this, but a closed circuit, a certain groove mm -hmm. that we chisel in, and then we become binded to that and we can't escape it. And awakening, I think, is this signpost catch all term that a lot of people, you know, it's like God, mm -hmm. a lot of people can project all kinds of things into and just wave it off. But awakening is, it's, it's I mean, it's all there is. What else is there but to climb the ladder of conscious realization and integration of, of more and more sense data and being present with it and seeing it as it is and creating our own world through our perceptions. Mm. It, I just don't see anything more noble than that because it's only through that that we can act rightfully into the world, that we can imprint ourselves into the world mm. in a way that truly matters and that helps this whole ecosystem of consciousness grow.
but to create art, you know, it requires personal discipline, fortitude, mm. and and vision, and and staying power with it. Mm. Uh, you know, like no pornography, you know, no no uh, procrastination. It means building character, um, mm. and and there needs to be encouragement and uh, rewards for that that work. It's exhausting and it's it's very taxing. And if there's no reward, in the, in, even in the form of a, a tap on the back and saying thank you, like you brought something. It may be wrong, it may not be, you know, the right, it's in the right direction and you, you risked to do it. Um, I think there's, there's fear in the atmosphere, so mm. artists do need to be courageous right now and I think they really need to be supported. Mm. But we have, we have many artists, uh, the nomadic wars are, mm. <laughs> you know, are rife with like all kinds of geniuses in my opinion. Mm. And that digital magic, the digital spells that are being cast constantly, they rewire the consciousness and they create new connections and new relations to, to, to our reality. So uh, it's almost like art now is more a guerrilla warfare. Mm. It's not this establishment authorized, stamped and approved Hollywood film, mm. degenerate comedy or you know whatever it is, some sort of Pentagon war narrative. Mm. Um, but yeah, I don't know, Just even just saying this and relating to this to you, I feel an emerging sense that, yeah, the artists actually are there. It's mm. just that they're not going to come out with their flag and be like, I am here. Mm. I think they are emerging. And, you know, as, as the old guard crumbles, and I'm starting to see the begin beginning of that, um, yeah, we'll see.